Killing a Tree written by Gil Patel Gil Patel is a physician by profession and a poet, painter and playwright. Patel's poetic works include Poems and How Do You Withstand, Body and Mirrored Mirroring. He is also a well-known contemporary Indian visual artist. Let us come to the poem on killing a tree. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crest, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves. So hack and chop, but this alone won't do it. Not so much pain will do it. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs, which if unchecked will expand again to form a size. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be robbed tight and pulled out, snapped, or pulled out entirely, out from the earth cave, and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet, the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth, then the matter of scorching and choking, in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, withering, and then it is done. This poem discusses the process of cutting a tree. The poet attempts to bring out the cruelty of human beings towards trees. Trees gave us the air we breathe which sustains us, but in return, humans cut down trees for their material benefits. The poet attempts to convey the readers the fact that trees have to be protected. Trees have to be preserved and we need to plant more and more trees in order to get a fabulous future. The poet also gives us certain lessons. Firstly, the poet is talking about the strength of the trees. Like the trees, we need to be very strong and determined enough to face the hard tricks of our life. Then the poet compares the root of the trees to the evil. If we need to be happy, evil thoughts should be uprooted from our minds. Like the roots of the trees, evil thoughts are deeply rooted within us, so we need to pull it out completely for being a good person. Then our poet tells us to end any work in a proper manner. At last, the poet is requesting us not to cut a tree. So basically, this poem is talking about the importance of preserving trees.